What's good, everybody? It is your girl, Tika Deshaun of All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless status, here to give you guys a Ruthless Oval crossover moment. Yes, Ruthless has definitely been making its appearance, making itself known in the Oval with these crossovers. However, your girl, Tika Deshaun, has a little bit to rant about. Listen, I don't know when Ruthless is going to return. I absolutely wish that I knew when Ruthless is going to return. It is aggravating me as well as I know that it is aggravating you that BET Plus won't even give us a date, won't give us a time, won't give us a moment as to when Ruthless is going to return. Listen, I need everybody to do hashtag bring back Ruthless from BET Plus because at the end of the day, you guys, we have been patiently waiting they normally give us Ruthless in December or maybe even November. However, it has yet to return and the fans are literally going crazy. We're trying to dive in and enjoy these Ruthless Oval crossover moments. However, we need our show back. You teased us with the back behind the scene pictures or behind the scene images from season five. However, we're not even finished with season four yet. So what's the deal, BT Plus? What is the deal? When are we going to get our ruthless back? Anyway, you guys, that's the end of my Tika's rants. I just had to get go in just a little bit. I don't go in too hard. But anyway, I'm waiting on Ruthless just like you guys are. And as soon as I find out when Ruthless returns, I will definitely give you guys a date. Now moving into this Ruthless Oval crossover moment, we see where Alan reaches out to Cal and he finally lets Cal know, hey, I'm definitely going to go all in with you guys. I have information that could shut Victoria down. Now, the reason why why Alan decided to make this call is because Victoria went proceeded to remind him that they had uh, Ellie unalived, that Ellie was messing around with Hunter, and that Ellie, um, you know, she was a she was a H O. You know what I mean? She just literally went in, and so Alan was like, "Listen, I'm sick and tired of it. It's over with. I am going to get the two of them. They have done." way too much it's time to shut them down and he has information now will they get to him or get to his apartment in time because Dell is there waiting at the apartment with that information will they get there in time to give that information uh to cal or receive that information from Dell? It's to be determined. We know that Kyle is going to make his way to where Dale is as well. So we're going to see if Dale is able to get out this information. Then in another Ruthless Oval crossover moment, we see where Manny, mutilated Manny, has been beaten down by Max. Now, he didn't want to talk to Max. He says that he hates the government, that he does not, you know, he doesn't feel comfortable talking to him. So, uh, Bobby tells Max uh, to leave the container that they're in, leave the truck, and he's going to talk to Manny. Now, Manny proceeds, uh, Bobby doesn't forget faces. So, he remembers that Manny, once upon a time, had dreads and that Manny said that he wanted to escape from the Rockadusha compound and that he was the one that was in the cabin. And so, yes, Manny said, yes, that was that was me. Um, But, you guys, we never did get to the point or the reasoning why Manny was really there. They said they were there looking for food. But what happened? You say you wanted to escape. You say you want to leave the Rockadusha compound. However, you are now standing guard for the Rockadushi. And you just received a brutal beatdown because you are affiliated with the Rockadushi and you won't reveal any information to this white man. Now, the white man being Max, of course, you guys. Now, will Manny actually reveal anything to Bobby? He says that he has information that he can give Bobby, but what is that information going to be? I don't think he's going to be a traitor simply because of the fact that we see many in more and more episodes of Ruthless. Now, this is my question. Is Ruthless, is the Oval and Ruthless trying to catch up? Is that why? This is a conversation that myself and uh, VKJTV were having. Um, maybe they're giving us all of this ruthless slash oval crossover information so that the show can finally catch up. But why take this long freaking break? 
or at least give us some information, give us a little insight as to why we are on this break. Yeah, I think that we are entitled to, you know, have some information as to what is going on. Okay, y'all, so I said I wasn't going to rant again, but I, I just had to because I feel like they treat the ruthless fans like, let's say, call them little redhead stepchildren. Like, they don't treat us kindly, and I'm not here for it. So anyway, you guys... Will Manny reveal anything of importance to Bobby? He has already been beaten down. He has already been tortured. So will he receive, will Bobby receive the information? So will Bobby receive the information that he is looking for from Manny? You guys, this is absolutely going to be crazy. Um, I know this isn't a ruthless moment, but... The hot, the highest is out here breaking up happy homes. Um, like I told y'all in my recap, uh, Nancy and Richard are going through it. They are going through it bad because of all of the drugs and everything that Nancy digested, ingested, took whatever sniff, snorted, whatever you want to call it, all the stuff that she took while she was on the Rockadusha compound, um, and all the mind control substances that she was un under. She is breaking up her happy home she and Richard are not happy at this moment so I don't know what is going to happen but I know the highest is definitely responsible for breaking up this particular happy home will Nancy end up back at the Rockadusha compound to find peace after she and Richard break up or will they work it out I think they're going to work it out simply because they have to get through a moment of finding Barry uh, when we're going, when will we find Barry? That's un um, uncertain at this time, simply because of the fact there's a moment where um, Kareem is in the dungeon or in the bunker. And he tells, he kind of mentions to Alonso something about a body. However, they, con they discontinue that conversation. So is any of this stuff leading to Barry as well? Does the information that many have, will that lead to Barry? I don't know at this time, you guys, but I'm definitely looking forward to our next Ruthless Oval crossover moment, okay? All right, you guys. Well, that's about it. Thank you all so much for tapping in and tuning in with your girl, Tika Deshaun of All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts. If you're new to the channel, finding me for the first time, please hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you can receive reminders of new Ruthless content. And by the way, I will be having a New Year's Eve celebration. We will count down our 23 most important moments. I may make it 24, but we'll see. 23 to 24 moments. Most important moments of 2023 okay all right you guys well that's about it thank you all so much for tapping in and tuning in with your girl tika deshaun of all things ruthless home mother with the addicts and you already know stay ruthless